My Sony TV won't turn on. Change the batteries in the remote. The remote control is working fine. I can't help you if you put the batteries in backward. The remote worked before and it isn't working now. And no, I haven't had someone heavy sit down on it and break it. My alternative was assuming someone spilled a drink on it, shorting it out. It won't turn on if you use the button on the TV either. That rules out the laser receptor being blocked. Whether by someone afraid the NSA would use it to spy on you or as a joke, I don't know. I knew someone who actually had that damaged by an item thrown around the room, but the TV is fine. Check to make sure the DVR and gaming console have power. If they don't, then you may have blown a circuit breaker or tripped a fuse. I don't even have a clock flashing the time at me because of a power outage. Is there any chance someone unplugged the TV trying to set something else up to play? No. Nor has anyone told me they need to hard reboot the TV to fix a glitch and forgot to plug it back in. I'd still check to make sure the plug is plugged in all the way, and that all the cables are snug in their ports. What else can I check? If you're handy, you could check the fuses on the power board. It is also called the G-board. That requires opening up the TV. It also requires a multimeter to check the fuses for continuity. I'm afraid I'd do more damage trying to replace those. And to be fair, other components on the main board could be fried too. Fuses are just more likely. What causes that to happen? Some of the main power supplies on their boards put out dirty voltage that isn't to spec, and while it works for a while, it causes the board to overheat over time. That can melt connections and damage components. And it might explain why the TV stops working. And it will stop working when the main voltage regulator fails. If the main board is toasted, that's a $600 repair. If the TV is relatively new, it should still be under warranty. It isn't that new. I don't have a warranty anymore. Sometimes the Sony Bravio goes dead and needs a reset via the power and home buttons for a few seconds to come on. I didn't know it had a soft reset option. That solution can work even if the red power light is off. Though if the power light is on and blinking, you can't try a hard reset or you need to fix something. If you are lucky, it is just overheating. You just said that was caused by electrical problems. Or you put the TV in a cabinet where the hot air only gets hotter. Give it some space, and that may work. That's most likely if the TV turns on and turns off much later after running. Then you're down to calling for service.